Hello, this is Dr. Anthony Fessmeyer, and in this video, we're going to go ahead and check out a basic shape for the major scale. We're going to start with the C major scale, which uses the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, and B, and then typically when we play scales, we cap it off with the note that we started with, so we'll end with C. We're going to start by finding the C note on the low E string. So if I come up here to the 8th fret, I have a C note here. I'm going to go ahead and place my 2nd finger on that C note. And this is the pattern that I will play. 2nd, pinky, which is a C to a D. 1st, 2nd, pinky on the A string, which is E, F, and G. On the D string, I'll go ahead and play 1st, 3rd, pinky, which is A, B, C. So, so far I have what we call one octave of the scale, C to C. So I've got C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. That again is 2nd, pinky, 1st, 2nd, pinky, 1st, 3rd, pinky. Now moving on to the G string, I have my first finger on a D note, my third finger on an E note, and my pinky on an F note. On the B string, I have my second finger on a G and my pinky on an A. And then on the high E string, I have B with my first finger and C with my second finger. Now I could just play the scale with using only those notes. That gives me C, to another C, we'll call it octave higher, to another C, which is an octave higher than that, or basically a two octave scale from C up to a high C. Um, but since I have a D note here with my pinky right there in that same position without having to move around at all, I'm going to go ahead and grab that note as well. Okay, so this is what I have all together. I've got C, D, second pinky, E, F, G, first, second pinky, A, B, C, first, third pinky, D, E, F, first, third pinky, G, A, second pinky, B, C, and then finally D, first, second pinky. Now I'm going to work on playing the scale both ascending and descending from lower notes to higher notes and then higher notes to lower notes. What I recommend doing first though is getting from the lower notes to the higher notes, the ascending version first. Once you're really familiar with those notes, think about what the names of the notes are and what the shape of the finger pattern is, then start to work on it in reverse. Um, I'm going to work on alternate picking this. This is a little bit of a tricky scale to really alternate pick well, but that's going to be my ultimate goal. You might start though with just all down picks at first. So this is what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Now, once you become really familiar with that form, you can move it around to different keys. Just a little disclaimer, it's important to understand the theory behind major scales, how they're constructed, and what the notes are when you're playing in different keys. So, again, the theory is important, but we could take advantage of the shape on the instrument to help us kind of translate from one key to another key. So for example, if I take my second finger down here to a G note, I could take the same shape and play a G major scale. So that shape again is second pinky, first, second pinky, first, third pinky, first, third pinky, second pinky, first, second pinky. And now I have a G major scale. If I take my second finger and I move it, for example, up to a D note, 
and follow through with that same pattern, I would have a D major scale. Second, pinky, first, second, pinky, first, third, pinky, first, third, pinky, second, pinky, first, second, pinky. That's the D major scale.